it's really easy to make a deposit in Jorum. The first thing to do is to click on deposits in the menu on the right hand side underneath my account. Once you've done that, go over to where it says start new deposit and click on that. Click on the drop down list so you can choose the most appropriate subject within HE or FE that your resource belongs to. Then click on the next button. On the next screen you have to choose whether you want to upload a file or link to an existing website. If you want to link to a website, make sure that the web link radio button is checked and then click on next. Then add the address of the website into the box. Once you're finished, click next again. If you'd rather upload a file, make sure the file radio button is checked then click on next. Click on Browse to find the file on your computer. Once you've found it, double click on it. And then click on Upload and File Another to add that to your resource. You can click on Browse multiple times to upload other files. If you decide that you made a mistake in one of your uploads, what you need to do is click on the little checkbox next to the file name and then choose Remove Selected File. When you're finished, click Next. The next stage is describing your resource so that people can discover it more easily. The first thing to do is give it a title. This shouldn't be the name of the file, but it should be something prominent, which gives people an idea of what the resource is about. Next, write a brief description of your resource so that people can judge its suitability for them. The description should be full of relevant keywords so that your resource appears in the search results when anybody searches for those words. Finally, choose the language that the resource is written in from the drop down list and then click next. On the next page you can add a selection of keywords to help users discover your resource. You can add each keyword in one at a time and then click add after each of them. Or alternatively you can write a list but make sure you put a comma in between each keyword. Once you've typed them all in, click the add button. You can also add a resource duration, which normally only applies to media resources like videos and podcasts, where it may be useful for a user to have an idea of how long it will take to view or listen to. Add the date the resource was created by clicking in the box and using the drop down calendar. The date is helpful to users who want to know how current a resource is. Next add the authors. The authors are the individuals who created the resource including writers, editors and photographers. Add each name individually and then click add after each one. You can also add contributors. A contributor is an entity responsible for making contributions to the resource, so examples could include faculties or libraries which exist within an institution. Again, remember to click add after you've entered the name of each contributor. Finally, the publisher is the field for capturing the institution or organisation associated with the resource. If you start typing in the box, a drop down list will appear and you should choose the most appropriate name from the list. If your institution isn't here, please contact us using our support pages. The final description page allows you to fine tune the data attached to your resource to aid its discoverability in search engines and support their reusability. All the options on this page are pretty self explanatory and all of them are optional apart from the learning resource type which is mandatory. You can choose more than one option for the learning resource type. Click on the first option and then scroll down the list. If you hold down the control key on Windows or Linux or the command key on Mac OS X you can then click on another option. Finally, in order to finish your deposit, you need to attach a Creative Commons license to your resource. If you're unsure what this means and need more information, there's plenty of guidance within the Durham support pages. Choose Creative Commons from the drop down menu underneath license type and then check the radio buttons next to the most appropriate options for your resource. Then click on Complete Deposit. <laughs>